Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I will be doing a, another haul video because I got a bunch of stuff. So let's go ahead and get into this. So keep in mind, this is not all of it because the rest of it ain't came in. This is all you guys will see as far as YouTube goes, but the rest of you, if y'all want to follow me on Instagram at Dolly Comics, um, you will see all the rest of the stuff that I got coming in. I'm so excited. Um, so let's just go ahead and start showing you guys what I got. First up, we have Miss G3 Draculaura. As you can see, she looks amazing. Um, go watch my review if you haven't. It's already up. But I love her. I think that she's absolutely adorable. This one is the one that I think that um, I might have my bestie um, at Just Like Magic on YouTube and Borderline Love on Instagram. If y'all want to go subscribe and follow. Um, this is the one that I think I might make her um, do the um, live action outfit for me. Because I did watch the movie with my besties last night. And let's just say it, it, it was too good. It down my only complaint was that i wish my baby laguna got some more lines monster high i'm gonna gonna have to beef with y'all what i'm sorry you need me to eat him no next we have miss g3 claudine this one is the variant which um i'll take a closer look at um but the only difference really is the face a little bit um and then the top has like more scratches on it more so than the crescent moons and stuff like that but um I think that she ate. I'm pretty sure if anyone's wanting to find the variant, um, just stay tuned for all of the more upcoming ones because um, from what I've seen, a lot of people have been finding this one versus the uh, first one that I reviewed in my clotting video. Next, we have the fantastically cute Miss Torelai. Um, Bunny got her for me because she found her at Walmart. So, thank you, girl. So, Bunny did pick this one out. Um, this one has a really nice face, which we will um, take a closer look at. But um, this is the one that I will be reviewing. So, stay tuned for that. But, um... I think that she's so cute. Like, oh, this definitely just gives Torlai, and I definitely just think she ate down, so. Next we have my baby, Laguna Blue. Um, Obviously I had to get another one because, you know, that's my girl, that's, that's my ghoul forever and always um once again if you would like to check out the review on that um it is posted um but i can't even express into words how grateful i am to be able to relive the experience of monster high even though obviously this one is targeted towards kids and i wish people would understand that and yeah but anyways um, I just, I love it and I'm completely here for it. Um, G3 completely has my heart more than the original about by that much, just because the whole fact is it's more inclusive, I should say. Um, I hope that we continue to get all the different cultural backgrounds through Monster High because it's, it, it was definitely amazing. Next we have the Always Handsome Deuce Gorgon. So my mom got her for me on Amazon because she had seen it when it popped up, uh, obviously October 1st. But um, I think that he's cute. Um, I like his new style. It's not too much different from the original. Um, color scheme wise it is, but the aesthetic of it, I feel like it definitely still hits the mark. I love that um, he is like working at the Coffin Bean and stuff like that. Um, I like it, them expressing a new side of Deuce, um, especially with what I've seen in the movie. I won't spoil it, anything. Obviously, I will be reviewing him, so stay tuned for that. And let's go ahead and keep it moving. Next G3 babe we have is Miss Goya. 
Um, I think that she's absolutely adorable, or as Gulia would say, <laughs> so I know a bunch of people didn't like really her new style. I don't think it's too far from um the original a little bit. Um I think that is very cute. I won't say Goya had um completely the best styles or anything like that. So um overall I think the outfit is very cute, very appropriate for Goya. So um and I can't wait to review her. Like, oh, seeing the way certain people have restyled her is just like oh, that makes me so excited to open her. So that review will be coming very soon. Then we have the Always Electrifying Frankie. Um, they look so good. I love their first edition doll, um, at least for this, because it very much gives the live action from the outfits that we've seen. Um, and I know that Frankie and Draculaura are low-key carrying G3 at the moment, just because the simple fact is their dolls do not look bad. So as much as people want to say this and that, the, them dolls very much ate. They chomp like i just want to say don't mind the box in the back getting ready to ship one of my besties things but the only thing that i was able to find in person was the organizer um i almost didn't find it but bunny was like well look behind stuff and look on top and so i was looking everywhere at first but then when she said look on top i had looked on the top and all i seen was like the little symbols and i was like wait a minute so i pulled that motherfucker down and surprise we got that shit Gorganizer drag definitely motherfucking eight down. Um, I had to pick one of the best ones because there was only two, so it wasn't really a, a big variety. I walked around. I was like, because um, I work at Walmart, and so I like knew a couple things, and I was like, well, do y'all have any more that they're like, like you know, gonna put out? And they was just like, no, we actually don't have any more in the store. I said, well, that's it's really weird because um, y'all can check. I, I know that. I'm so excited for all the new Monster High dolls that um, we've seen recently that come with the lockers. They G3 is definitely serving. I mean, I, re I really don't know what else to say. G3 is serving. Tell me your thoughts in the comments if you like it um, or not. But all I got to say is G3 is very much taking the cake at the moment. Fashions, everybody claims that they're cheaper quality, but y'all do know the original Monster High dolls weren't full of quality. Let's go ahead and get into something mm, less colorful. Here we have the Black and White Laguna or the Drama Real dolls. Um, Laguna ate down. Uh, I won't be opening this one because I want to keep this one in box or if I get another one and that one's prettier then that's going to be the one I keep in box but um because I really want that poster back there because that let's just say Darko Dark he he came to chew he came mad as fuck because that his artwork definitely ate down next we have Miss Frankie um I had to get the black and white one because this Frankie ate the fuck down it, there's no denying that. Um, I do wish she did match her little artwork though because one of her eyes um, were supposed to be green, but they're both blue. I mean, I see why they went with both blue, but it would have been cool to keep that little aspect of Frankie. From black and white now to rainbow high, we have Leela. Um, I did get her for $24 because she was on a little sale at um, Walmart. So I was just like, I'm gonna go ahead and get her. So I did. and. I don't regret it because she's so cute and especially with the way everyone was restyling her I was like oh yeah she she definitely gonna be in my house but um yeah I really do like her I think that she's very cute can't wait to um take her out of the box but I can't wait because it's like um opening rainbow high boxes is a little it's a little tiring that's why I kind of don't buy them but yeah as we move on to something louder and prouder we have the Proud Family dolls, as you can see, we have Miss Lazi Inaga Boulevardes. Um, she definitely ate down. Her little bob was, <laughs> it's bobbing. Y'all do not understand. When me and my besties heard that we was getting Proud Family dolls, all of us was jumping from um, roof to roof because the Proud Family has been a part of my childhood. Um, obviously, I didn't grow up fully with the Proud Family, but 
it was a part of my childhood. So knowing that they didn't have dolls originally, and now that I'm able to relive that experience like Monster High, although it is a little different than the original, it's something new, it's something fresh, and I'm loving every single bit of it. So obviously, Fresh Dolls did their little thing, you know, they made La Cienega, Penny, and Dijonay. Um, Hopefully, we do get Zoe and Maya, because them are some characters that I would love to add to the collection, obviously. But with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. To so the blonde-headed queen herself, Miss Dijonay. Hey! All I really want to say is the accuracy in this doll specifically is ridiculous. It's like literally like she jumped straight out the TV like back up Dijonay. But the simple fact that the the fresh dolls hit the mark on this line as a whole making the figures and the dolls and all this and it's just like this is this is everything that I needed. I mean I'm pretty sure if we get a full collection of these different outfits fashion packs and all that fun stuff. I can die peacefully. I can die peacefully because they they definitely ate down. Then we have the Queen Penny herself. I love Penny. I think that she looks absolutely adorable. I want to get um, doubles of all of them just because the fact is I want to try to make them look as close to their artwork as possible. Because um, I just look, I, oh God. Just looking at them just makes me so happy because the simple fact is they finally got dolls. And obviously, Fresh Dolls did the damn thing. Fresh Dolls, you ate. Can't wait to get the um, Black Panther Forever Dolls because um, they ate. And y'all were the first to do locks. Besides, obviously, what Mattel was doing, y'all did the damn thing. And for y'all to be a Black company doing Black Dolls, it is... It speaks volumes, especially with natural leases on the rise. All of us people of color are being able to be represented in so many different ways that it's it's amazing. The family, the family. As we start making our way towards the end, we have natural leases page here. Um, she looks so cute with her curls. Um, I definitely can't wait to get the rest of the natural leases because I really want the Pixie Puff collection so bad because um, the one with, the, I think, the purple crop top has, um, she looks more like me, in my opinion, which is why I feel so represented by Natural Leases because of what they're doing. Um, it warms my heart to know that so many black girls who have all these different, um, curl patterns in their hair and all this different textured hair, they finally can go into a store and look at a doll and think, that looks like me. Barbie, obviously, is hitting the mark on that to a certain extent, but Natural Leases is really taking the cake with that, same as Fresh Dolls. Um, I mean, it's just so important that kids know that, you know, your hair type is beautiful and no matter what, um, you can be represented. Now y'all know me, me and my besties, we love us some Lele. So I got me another one of the little Lele, um, mini surprise figures. I'm going to go ahead and open that now because, um, as of right now, there aren't any more Lele dolls to come out for me to just feature this in. So we're just going to open it together and hope I didn't get a double. But if I did, it's Lele. So it's you, you technically didn't lose. So let's go ahead and take a look. And I got another one. I got a different one. I got the one with the little puffs. She definitely ate down. Um, I hope that we get a doll of Lele with more of an, um, a puff style hair because all her dolls have beautiful curls. Um, check out my Lele reviews because I, guys, them dolls have immaculate hair. <laughs> let's, let's just go ahead and get that in, in there. But she looks so cute. As we make our way down to our last items, we have the Emily Winsnap book. Um... This is book one. This is telling the story about Emily and turning into a mermaid and stuff like that. Um, the original books are older than this. They were not um, graphic books either, but these are because they're like um, children's books. So they have all this fun um, artwork. And guys, I just love reading. Reading is something that I feel like it expresses, it, it takes you into a whole new world of uh imagination and so with that being said obviously i had to get the second book because i mean look at the mermaid uh, her name is shauna um she is so pretty um like look at her it's 
this is everything I needed. Can't wait to get the rest of the books when they come out because it's it's the world of Emily. That's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much. If you liked, please share, like, comment, and subscribe. It is highly appreciated. We are almost at 400 subscribers. I love you guys so much for watching and subscribing. It means the absolute world to me. Um, like I did mention, we will be having a um, giveaway at 500. So stay tuned for that. And I have so many reviews coming up from the stuff that I showed y'all and possibly some stuff that I haven't shown y'all yet. So definitely stay tuned for that. Stay beautiful, monsters. Me like you. Love me like you. Come on, baby, take